Everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to more Persona 3 Reload. Stream wasn't working for a second, but a quick reset apparently fixed it, so... It all looks good now. For some reason, everyone was just having infinite loading, but I ended stream and started it again, and now they say it's fine, so we're gonna hope that it doesn't break again. It was really strange, because I, like, I was playing stream on my end, and it was working fine. Like, I opened up stream and hit play, and it just worked. But other people were saying they were loading infinitely, so I, I did a quick reset, and that seems to have fixed it, and hopefully it stays that way. According to the Twitch app, you're not live. Alright, I'm starting to think that Twitch is having a bad day. And that Twitch might be the problem? Is everyone in chat able to see the stream right now? Like, am I- is it working or is Twitch dying? Should I not be streaming today? It says it's live on your end? You know what, it'll be fine. Whatever will be, will be. What, what am I doing today? What, what, what is happening? I have no idea. Oh my goodness! I need music notes with these people. Mamoru is ready to rank up. I think we were gonna hang out with Fuka, weren't we? Didn't I get a priestess last time specifically for that? Yeah, I definitely did. Let's go hang out with Fuka and get her ready to rank up. I think we have like, I think we have like three days until the school trip. We're gonna get the school trip done today. I am heading home. Let's hang out. Where should we go? I read this in a book the other day. Good for you. What rank are you right now? Are you rank seven? And hopefully now you're ready for rank eight, I think. Oh, welcome back. Hello. Is it just me or does Junpei-san seem unhappy about something? He's been mumbling under his breath for the longest time. Do you think it's about Shidori-san? Well, it's probably best to let him be until we know what's on his mind, right? How are you gonna figure out what's on his mind unless you talk to him? Like, what, what do you expect to happen? Um... Can I help you? Let's talk. Um, hey. I'm worried about Kurijo Senpai. She's usually so calm and level-headed. I can't bear to see her this way. Hope the school trip will cheer her up. I want to cheer up Mitsuru because she deserves it. Ken, did you... Did we max out your thing or do you still have one more to go? I think you still have one more to go, right? On my computer it says you're not live? But you're watching the stream, right? Like, stream is up, just Twitch isn't saying I'm live for some reason? Is there anyone in chat who, like, is not able to see stream? They wouldn't be able to hear me ask that. I mean, everything looks fine on my end. I literally have no issues, so... I, like, I don't know what to tell you. It says I'm live on Twitch, I hit play, and I can, yeah, I can see the stream live just fine. Like, it's, it's working for me. It is working for me, and I know for sure it's recording. Lepetra, welcome to stream, how's it going? See, even Lepetra realized that I was live and showed up, like... I don't know what to tell you. But Streamlabs is not giving me any errors, so it's like, it's Twitch's problem. Twitch is the one messing it up. We do still need one more hangout with Ken. I believe everyone else is done. Yeah, yeah, we're almost at the classic, hey, there's nothing to do at night in Persona 3 moment. I think I need to hang out with you with cooking though, right? Yeah, no more skills from this. We, we have to cook to get you to have stuff go down. Where is Junpei down here? Hold up. If there's a hangout with Junpei, I need to do that. Not like a hangout is in like a skill thing. Games! Unlimited games. Okay, there is no unique hangout with with uh, June Perry. No, <gasps> best girl. I'm here to comfort you about your dead father. Salut. Are you looking forward to the trip, Arisato? I sure am. I see. Well, I hope it will be memorable. Salut. All right. I see. Alas, doesn't seem like there's much more we can do for Mitsuru than that at the moment. Um, we're gonna go hang out with Mitatsu, I guess? I guess we're just gonna hang out with Mutatsu here. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, what's up, bro? What rank are you, actually? 
Rank 8, this is going to get you to 9 because it said you're ready for a rank up. We're almost done with Mutatsu. I, I was just thinking about this when I was editing videos the other day. Every time Tanaka is available, because he's only available Tuesdays and Saturdays in this game, I still don't understand why he's not available on Wednesday nights in Reload when he is in the original. But, uh... We still only have Tanaka 4 because every time he's available, there's something else to do, like walking Koromaru or whatnot. Like, I'm not worried about maxing him out because he's a guaranteed rank up every time we hang out with him, but like, holy cow, dude, I never get an opportunity for it. Yo, what's up, Mutatsu? Oh, it's you. You got some time to talk? For you, Mutatsu, I most certainly do. Let's chat, buddy. Wait, do I not have a... Do I not have a tower on me? I don't, but also it doesn't matter because we're almost out of things to do at night anyway, so who cares? And this will get him to rank nine? Yeah, who cares? That's right. All right, make yourself comfortable. Hey, sorry about last time when, you know, forget about it, all right? Anyway, would you mind listening to this old man complain? I'm sober today, so sit tight, will ya? Chaos, I don't want to blaspheme, but maybe on occasion Koromaru can handle not getting a nighttime walk so you can rank up Tanaka. Someone kill that person. Not ban. Like, strike them with holy thunder. Smite them from this world. How dare you? Who do you think you are? Welcome to stream Tsunami and Morgana. I hung out with Fuka after class. But also, like, do not ever speak such evil into this chat ever again. Who do you think you are? I am, etc. Anyways, back to my favorite bald monk. All I had to do was look all serious and recite the sutras. I can make easy money from donations. That's what I thought. That's why I set aside my pride and begged my parents to let me take over the temple. Every day is someone's death anniversary. Kinda makes you think how long people have been around. I'm working memorial service after memorial service 24-7. My little temple was some kind of convenience store. Poor men know no leisure. That's only half true, kid. Sure, I've got no time for leisure, but I'm definitely not poor. It varies, of course, but an offering can sometimes be as much as a white-collar worker's year-end bonus. But, as you can see, I'm too busy. I gotta push this old body of mine to the limit. I hate this work-your-ass-off mentality. Have you considered getting some other monks? Didn't you earlier say... Uh, earlier say? Didn't you say earlier in your supports that you had no other monks at your temple because you could do it yourself? It sounds like you could use another monk or two. Maybe I should think of something else to do with my life. I can't keep this up for much longer. My alcohol tolerance is weaker too. I've been drinking too much lately. Making a fool of myself like I did the other day. Time to retire, maybe? Yeah, maybe you're right. You gotta know when to quit when you're ahead. Oh. Then how's this for an excuse? We never filed for divorce. I've got some pretty good real estate now that I've inherited this temple. It's not a bad deal. I've got enough money that I can retire and just enjoy the rest of my life. What do you think? What's all this about then? Oh, uh, well, I'm thinking about asking him to come back. You know, my wife, my son. First, I gotta find out where they are. I'll hire a detective. I don't care how much it costs. And when I see him, first thing I'm gonna do is tell him I'm sorry. From the bottom of my heart. Uh, I'm gonna be concentrating on them, so probably won't be seeing you anytime soon. Well, 
I'm glad this is it. One brat is all I can handle at a time, and I've got to deal with my own son now. Despite his harsh words, Mutatsu sounds like he's gonna miss me. Good, good on you, Mutatsu. I hope you work it out. Get your family back together. You can do it. I believe in you. If I knew it was gonna end up like this, I never would have become a monk. I guess I'll go to a detective agency tomorrow. All right, let's get going, kid. He's gonna end up at Kyoko's detective company from Cyber Sleuth. It's gonna be awful. I'm gonna have to steer him away from that one. It's Saturday. Morning. Oh, this isn't voiced. Sup, Minato? Hey there. Good morning, Minato-kun. Morning. Get a load of this. Hey, you know the two of you would totally get along. He actually wanted to know more about Gekikin High, so naturally I had to share my wisdom with him. Uh, Junpei, I can't allow you to be a bad influence on my son. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave him alone. Anyway, he's a real cool dude to hang with. Of course I raised him. Much obliged. Thanks for helping me out, Junpei-kun. Thanks especially for telling me who's in the top 10 cuties of Gekikin High, too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pipe down. If Yukatan hears about this, my rep's gonna go down the toilet. Isn't it already rock bottom? Dude, quit rubbing salt in my wound. I'm just an easily misunderstood fella, okay? <laughs> you two are pretty close, huh? Well, we can also be good friends too, Minato-kun, since we're both transfer students and all. Dude, I could vibe to changing seasons like 24 hours. Just from the moment I wake up until I fall asleep, I could have a day of just changing seasons. I'd never fall. I'd never fall, I'd never fail. I'd, it'd be great. Let's begin today's lecture, shall we? Azerath Mitra and Zinthos. I'll be teaching today because, well, maybe it's best you don't know. Anyway, I'm filling in last minute, so I didn't have much time to come up with a lesson plan. The first thing that came to mind was a lecture on practical magic. How about we discuss some breathing techniques? I know some people would say breathing's anything but magic, but the two are actually closely linked. Junpei's portrait has gray teeth. All portraits seem to have gray teeth. What are you talking about? I mean, Etagawa's are white right there. The part that looks a little gray that you might be getting mistaken on is shadowing. To, you know, make it look like the characters have shadows and light exists. I know some people would say breathing's anything but magic, but the two are actually closely linked. That's because breathing affects more than your body. It influences the mind as well. The ancient Greek word for breath is pneuma. It was a very important concept in the medical science of the day. Later, Gnostic Christians used pneuma to refer to the human spirit, a concept separate from the soul. That was around the time when breathing techniques were recognized as being so crucial to successful magic. I could name all sorts of examples where this influence is felt today, like yoga. Breathing is an especially important factor there. There's also the Shinto concept of ibuki, meaning both breath and inner strength, that is often incorporated into martial arts training. So you can see how breathing techniques have spread throughout the world thanks to the power of magic. But back to practical matters, let me show you something called Dantian breathing? Dantian? Whatever. Some say Gautama Buddha himself practiced this method while on Earth. It's a breathing exercise where you focus on a specific Dantian or a energy center in your body. You mean a chakra? So the first step is simply focusing on the right Dantian as each person has multiple. For this exercise, focus on the lower one. It's about three fingers width below the navel. These are the chakras I watched Avatar. Like, come on now. Why does such a seemingly random spot on our body receive such high regard to the point of being specially named? It's because the Danqian is where the most energy can be charged within the body. Once you start the exercise, you might notice that the energy you send there can't be felt elsewhere in the body. This is because the Danqian absorbs your spiritual energy, further strengthening the body and mind. Let's try doing some Dantian breathing now. For, I have to pronounce Danqian like eight different ways for the record. For first timers, it's usually a good idea to place your hand in the proper spot. This helps to maintain focus. Once you pinpointed your Dantian, you can begin the breathing process. Can we get this guy fired? How is this guy employed? Imagine the air you pull in with your diaphragm is coalescing within the Dantian. Then just as deliberately exhale through the nose. The goal with each breath is to channel energy into your Dantian until you can feel it begin to harden. 
that's the point when you should exhale and simply repeat this process as desired, that's all. Now, except one important note. If you're doing it correctly, there shouldn't be any pain. After all, when you boil it down, you're simply breathing in and out. That means if it hurts, then there's likely some sort of mental thing going on instead, something inhibiting your mind. Yeah, like not being able to give up your earthly attachments to Katara. That usually messes it up. I will stay awake, unfortunately. So you see how breathing methods affect meditation, making it crucial to magicians. Remember, it's very important to believe that you're doing what you're that you're doing more than just breathing. I can read. As a matter of fact, you can even improve your physical fitness with the right breathing techniques, and that leads in turn to the improvement of your psyche and your astral form. All right, that's it for today. Thank goodness. Force myself to stay awake. Did you watch the Netflix live-action Avatar series? No, I like respect my time. I saw where they said that they were gonna make Sokka less sexist at the start, and- There you are, finally found you. Don't interrupt me, Yukari. I saw where they said they were gonna try and make Sokka less sexist than he was in the original, which means that they don't understand what they're doing because Sokka being sexist and then getting routinely beat by a bunch of strong women is exactly how he grows as a character. So they, they have no idea what they're doing and I don't care to waste my time. Anyways, cutscene, speaking of strong women, Hey, Takeba. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well. Sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip. Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to, but I lost my dad too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she is. I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get canceled. Ugh, Odagiri Kuhn. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. My son is so smooth. Respect. I mean, like, when you see Mitsuru Kurijo, you've got to shoot your shot even if you have no chance. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Poor Mitsuru is so confused. Oh. Right. Talk about. Thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ow. Did she just physically accost my son? I'm suing her for all she's worth. Class has ended for today. What's up, I guess? The fact that this school conducts its field trips every other year is unusual, is it not? So there was no trip last year, which means the current third years haven't gone on their school trip yet. First year students don't go on a trip, so this year the second and third years are going together. That does sound weird. Creature mm -hmm. son wasn't very receptive when I asked her out. 
What did I do wrong? Maybe I should have suggested a different restaurant. She seems like a tough nut to crack. You're telling me, brother. But she's a nut worth cracking. Am I right, fellow gamers? Fuka is not ready for a rank up even after I hung out with her the other day? What the heck, Fuka? What is wrong with you? I had a priestess and everything. Yukari and Yuko, huh? Yuko is rank seven. No, wait, that was, that was fortune. Yuko, no, she's strength. She's also seven. They're both seven. Fuka is seven. Yukari is seven. Yukari and Yuko could go up to eight here, or we could get Fuka ready for a rank up. I'm really annoyed that Fuka is not ready for a rank up right now, to be honest. 